Unlike most drawing machines, which drag a pen over a piece of paper to create their images, the Illumicon works by moving a miniature LED light in a complex pattern, which is picked up by a camera mounted overhead with its shutter locked open, to produce images like this, and this, and this. Because the shutter is open for a long period of time, sometimes as long as 20 minutes, the room has to be pitch black, and that's also why the surfaces are painted black, so that they're not picked up by the camera, just the light. The gears were designed using a free online gear generator and are cut out of top quality, uh, half inch thick birch plywood on a scroll saw. The main outer gear has 150 teeth. The large gear here has 74. This has 60 and the small pinion gear has 36. The drive I'm using for this drawing machine is the motor out of a barbecue rotisserie. To see what makes this design so unique, we need to take a look at a typical drawing machine. Virtually every drawing machine out there has a turntable that holds the paper and then some sort of gear system that makes the pen move over the surface of the paper as it's rotated. The problem with this is, is if you were to put the light uh, where the pen is and turn your camera on, you watch this and you'll notice it doesn't really make a full circle around the paper. It's just making a little ellipse and that's all you're going to get. And that's what makes the Illumicon different. These gears are actually mounted on the turntable so that as the turntable moves, they move and the light would follow all the way around the turntable uh, to produce a complete image. The designs that are created are determined by where the light is placed and which gears are used to move it. For example, in this very simple design, we get an image such as this. But if we move it from the 36 tooth gear to the 74 tooth gear, we get this, which may be a simple spiral graph type image, but that doesn't stop it from being spectacular. More complex patterns can be created by linking the motion of two gears with an arm. In these cases, the design is affected not only by the motion of the gears, but by the position of the light along the arm. This doesn't always work out, as the following image will show. It's a real mess. But if we move the light a little further along the arm, things start to look a little better. Just two more inches, and we hit the jackpot. I really like this one. Here are four more examples of the types of images the Illumicon can create. These two images were made by using two lights instead of one. By releasing the shutter before the machine has finished a complete design, some spectacular effects can be created. Using a color changing LED can produce amazing images like this and this. I hope you found this video interesting and as always, thank you very much for watching.